another hair dyeing tutorial. It's time to dye my hair again. Ugh. Okay, no, I'm not actually that crazy. This is a wig that I'm going to be dyeing because I've never done that on this channel. I've never actually dyed a wig in my life. So I'm going to try it out today. So I just received this brand new human hair wig from DonnaLoveHair.com. I love their wigs. I've previously only gotten synthetic wigs from them, but this time they decided to make me my own custom human hair wig specifically to dye it. So I'm gonna do that. And today I'm going to be dyeing them roughly blue. So I still have these dyes left over by Lime Crimes Unicorn Hair Dyes. I never got around to using them simply because I was always scared about the outcome when it starts to fade because since blues have green pigments in them sometimes when you wash them it turns green but since this is a wig and since I rarely wash my wigs because I'm lazy I'm fairly sure the color is going to be maintained really well so I'm going to be using these two so the dyes that I'm going to be using today is Dirty Mermaid by Unicorn Hair Lime Crime and Blue Smoke. Because these are semi-permanent dyes, they require no developers, so they just, just add the dye ready onto the hair, let it process for like 40 minutes, wash it out, boom. I'm going to blend it up all the way to the roots, but since the roots are so dark, it's not gonna be effective. That is all. I'm going to put all the links and coupon codes and everything down in the description box below because I love you guys and it's so, so nice. I think I'm gonna go to work with this way, actually. I'm basically going for like a dark denim color. I'm going to be diluting the color a bit with some Tony and Guy Volume Edition Conditioner. I just got this and I'm really curious to try it out. So here is the finalized wig. I just styled it in the way I would normally style my hair and because it's blue-ish, turquoise-ish, whatever, it looks real mermaid style, so I am digging it. I think the color is really, really gorgeous and really vibrant and if this was my actual hair, I would be crying tears of joy, but it isn't my actual hair, so I'm a bit less ecstatic about it, but still it looks so, so cool and it actually looks really real. I love it. <laughs> it actually turned out quite a bit more vibrant than I would have thought. So I'm digging that a lot. Yeah, so I'm going to leave all the information about the dyeing process, about the wig, about, you know, the mixing and everything down in the description box below. You could do your own thing. Remember, if you want a color as bright and vibrant and cool toned, you need to have a base as light as this one was. Well done to Donna Love for the gorgeous wig. I love it so much. And for Lime Crime for the gorgeous dyes. Cool, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you will give it a go and I will see you in my next video.